Good morning and happy Friday, you guys. We've got a quiz today on SchoolNet. Um, so there are actually two quizzes that are open. Um, one of them is the math. It's geometry 10.4 to 10.5 quiz. And you do not need to take that one because we did uh, the same quiz. We did that quiz earlier this week. So that one you do not need to take, but the one you do need to take is the 10.6 mini quiz. You've got two problem types on there, so we're gonna go over both problem types. All right, now we've got two parts of a chord, and we have two parts of another chord. And what we end up doing here is we're just going to look at each chord. We're not going to mix lengths from different chords. We're just going to take one part of a chord times the other part of the same chord, so 4 times x. And we can set that equal to the product of the parts of the other chord, so 8 times 7. Or we could think of this as, you know, if this is point E, I've got, not point E, that wouldn't work, point uh, A. So AC times AB, so AC times AB equals AD times AE. And anyway, that would give us 4x equals... Fifty six or x equals fourteen. And we'd do the same thing here, we'd have four times x, those are on the same chord, equals eight times six now. And we could solve for x. We're gonna keep taking the same approach, but sometimes we'll have binomials here. So still going to do the same approach. Multiply the two parts of the same chord. So I'll say 3 times negative x plus 4 equals x times x minus 4. And I'll have to distribute to both parts. So like we saw yesterday when I made that first mistake, got to be very careful. So negative 3x plus 12 equals x squared minus 4x. Okay. Anytime you're given an x squared, anytime an x squared shows up, we're going to end up factoring, which means we need everything on the same side of the equal sign. So I'll add my 3x over, I'll subtract 12 over, add 3x, subtract 12, and I'm left with x squared minus x minus 12. And we'll look at the factors of 12. So 2 and 6, 3 and 4, 1 and 12. And I want those factors that are going to add or subtract to a negative x or a negative 1. So which factors, which pair is 1 apart? 3 and 4 
have a difference of 1. And if it's a negative 1, I want a negative 4 and a positive 3. So I want a negative 4 and a positive 3. And if I wanted to find the roots of this quadratic, it would be 4 and negative 3. And we're just going to take the positive number, the positive root. So x is 4. And we'll do one more like this, and then we're going to look at the uh, other problem type. So... Same thing here, I've got, let me kind of separate these a bit. 3 times 4x minus 1 equals 9 times x plus 3. So we're looking at... 12x minus 3, I distribute to both parts, equals 9x plus 27, and x is 10. I've got 3x equals 30. Uh, I did skip a step in the middle there just to keep this video a little bit shorter. But our last problem type looks like this. And this is where we really want to be careful um, to not get it mixed up with this process here. 